Good morning. A pleasure to have you join us for another package of Off the Press, the program where we take a look at the headlines, making the rounds in our newspapers and with the help of our guest, who today happens to be uh, Dr. Femi Ido Adegoke. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Nice Good for morning. having me. Thank you. My name is Felicity, by the way. I uh, will start with the Nation newspaper, and a big one here is WHO to trace 103 travelers on flight with Italian victim. Uh, that's uh, the big one on the front page. It has two riders. Nigeria enlists world body. Coughing Chinese on arrival at Lagos Airport tests negative. That's um, something. And then inside of the paper, there are a couple of issues still dealing with that, um, the issue of coronavirus. Um, I'll just highlight some of them. It's pretty small on your screen right now, so I'll just take them for you. Uh, State House begins screening. World Bank IMF cancel meetings. British Airways cancels 216 flights. Emirate Airlines sends workers on leave. India suspends visas to Italians, Iranians. Pope tests negative. NCDC DG in isolation. Tokyo Olympic Games cancellation likely. Uh, this is coming just after a press uh, briefing uh, by the uh, man in charge of the Tokyo Olympics, uh, saying yeah. that they, at, for, for now there is no cancellation. Mm -hmm. It's still uh, on point. But I guess that will depend uh, largely Alpha. on the situation yeah. with the um, what the WHO is describing as a possible pandemic. All right, still on the front page of the nation, we have um, at the top, Yahoo Yahoo Boys didn't miss up the paper today. They're still here. Ibadan Yahoo Boy caught with a mini coughing, five others held. Those things, do they really work? Well, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't mean, know. I, I, I had, I had, to, as I wanted to just move on to the next story, but we hear things like this, fetish things that people do, even in 21st century, does it really work? Yeah, but it, it, for them to be doing it, it might, they might, it must be working for people who believe Knowing in it. Knowing that there's a possibility you will be caught and then you will go to jail? Yeah, but it, it just summarizes what the society has become. Quite unfortunate. All right, um, I'm not done with the headlines yet. Um, EFCC returns 263 stolen cash to Quara, uh, 2 billion naira, SME's cash taken. And then we have NSC to become public quoted company. Equities rally 232 uh, billion uh, naira. Uh, that's it. Uh, page one comment. For the people's justice, uh, that's uh, the Imo and Bielsa states getting a piece, um, special place on the nation newspaper uh, this morning. And um, Amotaku said for takeoff, Lagos Ogun Oshun or your own do houses pass bill. Uh, there is the leopard skin attire on the, the much talked about leopard skin that some of the lawmakers uh, wore uh, to plenary to show solidarity with the bill. Uh, Supreme Court dismisses the has review application. See analysis, APC PDP reactions on page 44 after the paper. And on the back of it, you have um, life in the time of coronavirus. I'd love to read that one. And then something on improving our education system is also on the back page of the Nation newspaper. Femi, over to you now. Which of these would you want to... I know I prompted you with the battle, but no, no, any no. other headlines now? Yes. With the WHO to trace 103 travelers on flight with Italian victim, it, for me, it's a concern. Why is it WHO that should trace Nigerians in Nigeria? Well, I, 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 is this the headline flight... from, um, um, I, I'm apt? Because we know that the Ministry of Health has said they've been able to identify some of these people who had contact with the yes. Italian. Yes, they were supposed to be 157. Mm -hmm. And then 103 are still At not identified. Yes. And I, I feel the Federal Ministry of Health and the Federal Government, they are, they're wasting too much time because this uh, virus... If we allow it to fester too long, it will spread beyond what we can handle. So far, Nigerian government or the Ministry of Health, they're doing their best and they're putting measures in place. But I feel at this point, there's a manifest for people who traveled. And they, you know the names and the contact of the ones who have come out to be tested. In the rest, put it in the newspapers. Put it in the, you know, let people know, even because 
People, I understand. Well, I don't... Well, wouldn't that be um, an abuse of um, uh, uh, rights? Because we know that the Ministry of Health said that they cannot divulge the uh, identity of the Italian who has been quarantined yeah. because that would be against the ethics of medical practice. So that, wouldn't that be yeah, but, but these ones have not even come out to be tested. So the danger of spreading it is there. Okay, so you're advocating that you go on and... Because it, it, now from 26th of February, today is already 4th of March. We're almost one week on. And then we don't even know where they're going to, where they, who they've met, who they have... Now, the Federal Minister of Health and the Center for Disease Control, they are trying to manage the panic by putting measures in place and trying to get this thing sorted. But on the other hand, the gov some part of government, like the like legislative arm, and the federal government, uh, the Astro Rock, they're putting panic and fear in people. Now they started testing people where you're going to Astro Rock. Some ministries have started testing people. You understand? I was at the mall, and uh, before I could enter a shop, they said, please come and sanitize your and hand. Then, <laughs> and then yesterday, the Minister of State for Health, uh, Dr. Olon Libemamura, was trying to... So I don't understand. You are trying to manage it, and you are sending panic on the other side. Now our House of Rep are saying they want to go on recession because of um, uh, possibility, of possibility of coronavirus because they read in the news that in Iran, 23 Iranian uh, 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 parliament, parliament members have uh, tested positive. If you were to be in their shoes, no, would no, no, no. It just shows, I always say. No, no, but seriously, if you were to be in their shoes, would the, you this act is the differently? Time, no, this is the time they should work. They should be at the parliament yes. when there are no preventive measures. Okay, that, that means in the first place they are there for, the, for self. I, I, so I, how many I, are they? There are only 360. Did, did you see the reasons about 200 given? Million people. There is no preventive measures. There is no way to test or screen people that are coming in. Wouldn't that be stupidity to be in the National Assembly when you don't know whether the person you're going to be shaking hands so with has it, the virus? It's, it comes down to their irresponsibility. This thing started in China since um, December, January, and they're there as our lawmakers. They are all a bunch of irresponsible people. All right, let's move on to other headlines now. Uh, the People's Justice is referring to the e and uh, oh Bielsa um, <laughs> attack. What's your take? The court, there is no litigation. There is no opportunity for litigation yeah. now. The yeah. court, the Supreme Court, has closed all matters concerning yeah. this. Yeah. What's your position on it? Yes, because uh, the Constitution does not, uh, from what I've read and what uh, the judgment yesterday, uh, the Constitution does not permit the Supreme Court. I'm not a lawyer, so I might not get the interpretation. But in my own uh, understanding, this, uh, the Constitution does not permit the Supreme Court to appeal or recede on its own judgment. But having said that, there's hope for Nigeria from what we saw yesterday. Seven judges, one against six against one. But what that judge, I've forgotten his name now. Uh, Mweze. Mweze. What he said was very, very uh, key in Nigeria moving forward. We shouldn't just stop at where we are now. We need to look at it critically. Yes, we understand the Constitution does not permit the uh, Supreme, Court? Supreme Court to judge its own case. But why did the court overrule the INEC? judgment. We are supposed to be the umpire of the election. So in my own thinking now, that means we don't have democracy. The people have been shortchanged. So six people now have decided who governs Imo State, not the people of Imo State. It's just the six judges that have decided. So there's hope for Nigeria because that Justice, uh, Justice Nweze has just shown that he's a man of character. Yes, even in the face of all these um, uh, constitution and all that bra, I can still say the truth. The truth is that the judge has been, uh, judgment has been misplaced. All right, we'll move on to the Punch newspaper now. The still on coronavirus, we have this one that says MCDC boss in isolation after China trip. Reps move to suspend plenary. Uh, we just uh, tagged that a bit now. Uh, it has three riders. A presidency screens visitors to Asarok workers for coronavirus. Senator warns on failure to quarantine Chinese secondhand clothes.
COVID-19 death toll rises to nine in Washington state. Cases now 90,893 globally. Um, and then we have the picture of the officers, the lawmakers, um, as a motorcycle bill is passed by Lagos Ogu or your own do. I'll find details of that story and the uh, rationale behind their chosen attire on page nine of the paper. Uh, just beneath that, uh, you see Kwara Assembly removes uh, Saraki's name from State University, uh, reps to probe Navy invasion, demolition of Lagos community. But Abiyamila denies sponsoring mom's Dubai birthday with public funds. That's um, uh, something for you on the front page to go read uh, at the top of the paper just above the masthead. Uh, you looking at the discos rejecting 17,657 megawatts as power outage persists. Uh, details on page 27. Economic crisis forces 42 Lagos SMEs to shut down. Nigeria remains Africa's biggest economy. South Africa enters recession. FG yet to receive $300 million abattoir loot, says AGF. Uh, details of that one is on page 10. And on the back of the paper, you have, so that coronavirus won't consume us. <laughs> you might want to go and see what um, Lecon is uh, talking about uh, today. Uh, back to the front page of the paper. I'd like us to start this conversation looking at the Nigeria remaining Africa's biggest uh, economy as South Africa enters France. Because I was having a conversation earlier in the news um, with a data analyst who said, even though they said there's a, a slight climb in our GDP, it still doesn't reflect um, um, necessarily on the economy and the lives of the people. Absolutely. I just have only one statement. Growth does not automatically translate to development. Now, we're saying because South Africa has gone into recession, then Nigeria is the biggest, biggest uh, economy. economy. The biggest is just in potential. But has that potential been properly Hans. and fully honest? That's the question. All right, so your pick, NSCDC boss in isolation? Well, I've, we'll I've, 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 that, I've mentioned it briefly, but it's just to say that we still have people who lead by example. He just returned from China, I think nine days ago, for one of the meetings about this uh, called COVID-19. And the, is the, what's it called? Doing the right thing. Yes, the agreement at the meeting he went for was if you've been to China, you need to go into isolation and test. Yeah, they said he's been tested, he's tested negative, but he still has to Stay go into isolation. Yeah, because it takes 14 days or sometimes to manifest. And that's, that's, that, those are the kind of things that we should be doing now. Not sending panic messages or sending panic body languages like the National Assembly are doing to the people. So okay. then on the discourse, rejecting 17,657 megawatts as power outage persists. Yeah, I think for the discourse, they don't have the capacity to distribute if we generate this amount. They don't have the capacity to distribute. So they are ultimately going to uh, reject it. So what I'm saying, my opinion is, the power sector needs to be fully decentralized. It needs to be fully decentralized from generation to transmission to distribution. Let other people who are, make it attractive to investors who will come in and do the right thing. All right, uh, we'll take a look at the Vanguard now. Uh, the big one still on coronavirus and uh, the um, isolation of NCDC boss is on the front page of the paper. A uh, couple of writers to that story. We insisted he must undergo 14 days self quarantine. That's a health minister speaking. And then uh, at the top of the paper, uh, oil prices shake off uh, COVID 19 jitters, rise 2.4%. You'll find uh, details on uh, page 44 uh, of the paper. Um, Emo APC jubilate uh, Supreme Court dashes Ihedioha's hopes, declines to sack um, Uzodimma. Uh, details on page 15, uh, court shouldn't impose candidates on voters. That's uh, the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, 
uh, Shamale uh, talking. Uh, go read details on page uh, 42 of the paper. Uh, maritime, uh, we have something here. Smuggling insecurity rise at private jetties. That's another one on the front page of the paper. At NSE's court ordered EGM, that's uh, the people there, the money people. Okay, uh, a Moteco bill is also on the front page, the fact that it has been passed by some states. And then the, the new one that we haven't seen um, in the other front pages, or probably we missed it, um, is this one that says, Kaduna killings, one too many, ACF, um, as gunmen killed two, Angels others in Kanu State. Uh, oil lawmakers pass a Moteku bill that's uh, in pictures. On the back page of the Vanguard Sports, we have um, the sports. On the back page, we have Vanguard Sports. All right, uh, let me take you up on the Kanu, uh, Kaduna killings. And now we hear two more have been killed in Kanu State. Kanu. Your thoughts? Well, I think, like you said, like the uh, headline says, it's one too many. And then I think this insecurity is getting to a level now that it's becoming unbearable. And I hope we don't get to the stage where the people will take their own life, their own uh, destiny in their own hands. Because I think it was Kaduna State at a point that the governor or someone, I think it was the governor or the commissioner, were saying they were they're willing to give uh, money to the bandits at a point, I don't, not this it's recent one. Yeah. Yeah. So if you do that, that means you're giving people the am ammunition to keep doing what they're doing. So I think we need to come down heavy on anyone that is caught with banditry, uh, killing. So they should be punished. All right, a court shouldn't impose candidate on voters. That's Oshomole. Is that um, a bit when um, I, missed? When, when, I read, when I read that, what came to my mind is, you see, APC and PDP, you, my stand is they're the same. They're just playing games with the minds of Nigerians. I tell you, what came to my mind is, they have used Bielsa to trade Imo, or they've used Imo to trade Bielsa. That's interesting. Yeah. But why, why would you say that? Because... PDP has always ruled in uh, Bayosa State. And the last eight years, it was APC in uh, Imo State. And then it was about, PDP was almost claiming the two states. Because. Well, APC, if, if you're saying that, you're also <laughs> saying that the people. I'm just saying <laughs> that's just on the surface. Okay. But the truth is that I like what is said on, the, on the, this day now. We are going to this day now. Oh, yes, we are going yeah. to this day newspaper. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we have the Supreme Court asserts its supremacy, reaffirms Hedioha's ouster. Uh, PDP kicks of Shomole Uzodimma Hale verdict. APC calls for urgent electoral judicial reforms. Um, NBA urges NJC to reject Cross Rivers Act in CJ. Uh, FBI endorsement for uh, EFCC. Uh, that's another one on the front page. Um, just below the this day masthead, uh, you're looking at um, returning from China. Disease control bus goes into self isolation. That story has been recapped um, in all the papers. NSE members, okay, exchange as profit making limited liability entity. And then Southwest State pass a motorcycle bill into law. On the back page, the fake news virus. That's another one. We do know that with the coronavirus, there's been some really weird information so, being yeah. passed on how you can, you know, protect yourself from the virus. Yeah. Uh, we, we had a credible news source, um, uh, in a, in intent, unintentionally, I think, uh, passing on a fake uh, story uh, of uh, the driver that was um, supposed to have yeah, yeah. Uh, driven the Italian. Italian so yes. I, I'm sure this is a good perspective for us to take a look at. Um, it's uh, written by uh, Kayode Komolafe, and he's talking about the fake news virus. Uh, Justice Ikbemes fate, if you want to go take a look at that, yeah. over to you now. Well, I'm going to speak on what um, APC calls for urgent electoral judiciary reforms. Uh, in my language, they say it by Ilaro. That means this is it's now that is their own money. 
So it's now they're beginning to realize that we need a judicial reform and a electoral reform. We're, even the constitution, all these institutions have become dead, not working. It has become one man show, it's become persons. So we need, that's why some quarters have been calling for a restructuring the country because a lot of people do not understand they don't understand what restructuring is. Restructuring is to look at who we are now and all these institutions, how they affect the present happenings. And so these are things that we needed to be done. The judiciary needs to be independent and we do not need to go and get our elected uh, officers from the court. It, it no longer, it's no longer democracy if the court is what is deciding who rules, who becomes this or that. Before I let you go, your quick thoughts on the Amotepu bill that has now become law in a couple of states. So yeah, yeah, I think it's only one state that is left that has not passed yeah. it. I think it's only a Kichi state that they're waiting on. All the many other fives have passed it. A good thing for you? Well, yes. In the face of insecurity in the country, I think it's the way to go. Even though they messed it up at the beginning, but they corrected it. And then I hope the operations will be better than we expect. Thank you very much for coming on the program. You're welcome. And thank you for watching. Do have a lovely day ahead. My name is Felicity Asiwike.